What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone on Rebirth Island. Man, it feels good to say that again. If you're a fan of Rebirth Island, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like this style of video, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this. And you can always stay up to date on the current meta. Now, there were some major nerfs that happened in the season three update, especially to some of the favorites like the Ram 7, which still feels okay, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. So, we're going to give you those loadouts to kind of replace those things. Let's get into it. All right, so starting out, we're going to do an honorable mention with the STB 556 and the Ram 9. Now the Ram 9 got nerfed to the ground, but it is technically still in the top five when it comes to TTK. If you look right here, you're looking at about a 0.673 at 10 meters. Now that's why it's still in the top five SMGs because of this 10 meter range. But once it gets past that, you're not looking very good. So with that Ram 9, we're putting it at a honorable mention, but again, not great past 10 meters. And then for that STB, the STB 556 is real underrated. It, you'll see it right Right here in green it hangs in there almost past 40 meters right here at 35 which is great uh, especially for rebirth island most of the time it's all you need so really really solid tzk around uh, right before 40 meters and it has a bit of a drop off here but uh it's not bad at all so this is an honorable mention for me little under the radar uh loadout so for that stb 556 we're going with the vt7 spirit fire suppressor the ftac fb20 barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 42 round mag and the jack glassless optic now i'll show you this in the firing range here again very controllable recoil and just pretty solid ttk now it only comes with that uh 42 round mag so you got to be careful there so solos duos very solid trios started to get there and then quads probably not as much but whatever you decide to play And that Ram 9, I'm going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash, the XRK Edge BW4 Hand Stop, 50 round mag, the Retort 90 Grip Tape for a little bit more recoil control, and the Recon Comb Comb. Next, we're going to have the Holger 556 along with the Striker. As you can see here on our TTK chart, the Holger 556 is still very, very solid all the way out to 45 meters and it has to drop off. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. But once we get to that 45 meters, you'll probably pass. But again, it only has a 40 round mag. So that's the problem too. It did receive a nerf. So just be on the lookout for that. But I like the Holger 556 still a little bit. Uh, very controllable recoil, obviously there as well. And then for that Striker, again, it's, it's not the best, but but it is in there it is in that top five meta smg category for me past 10 meters once you get to around 13 meters it does fall off pretty good so but again it's an smg you're using it close range anything past 13 meters or so not really using it right at that point if you're getting around 15 or 20 probably want to pull out that ar or whatever you're using all right so for that holger we're going with the vt7 spirit fire suppressor the cryo six match barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 40 round mag and that jack glassless optic show this to you guys here in the firing range it's just it's still very solid it's very very good ttk controllable recoil again it only has that 40 round mag which is it's it's honestly it's downfall a little bit especially after the nerf And then for that striker, we're going with the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the XRK edge hand stop. The, uh, we're going to go with the 48 round mag there. And then the Jack glasses optic along with the Lockman MK2 light stock. And the great thing about the striker is it's just very little recoil and hits very hard and it can be used as sniper support as well. For our next loadout, we have the TAC Evolver and the Striker 9. So these next three loadouts are 100% the meta right now. Loving all of these. The Evolver is a little slow for me um, as far as the movement speed and stuff, but again, very low recoil, so very solid as well. And then you have the Striker 9, which is so much fun to run, but I like these other style of SMGs a little bit better. Uh, but for run and gun, you got the Striker 9 and the HRM 9, in my opinion. I'll show you another loadout uh, here in a second. All right, as you can see, this TAC Evolver is in green here. It is the best TTK past 45 meters and then it drops off again so we have the SOA subverter and then it goes the TAC evolver here along with that uh, a long range WSP 9 which I'm about to give you which is a lot of fun to run so I, the TAC evolver is right here smack dab in the middle of the meta very solid uh, 0.676 right at 45 meters so very solid TTK very controllable recoil and then like I said the striker 9 probably number 3 overall when it comes to the uh, TTK right at 12 meters then it has a little bit of a drop off but stays pretty consistent up 
to almost 30 meters so you can use it as sniper support for sure but we're looking at again it's an smg build so anything inside this uh 12 to zero meter range is very very solid so for that attack evolve we're going with the zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle or you can run the cast's break l which will run uh in a couple of these loadouts as well um we like both of those and then i like the eviction 762 heavy barrel here the hound 9g grip the jack glassless optic the rampart heavy stock and the hound 9g grip so this tack to you here like very controllable recoil and really really good ttk especially out at range Then for this Striker 9, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the XRK Hand Stop Under Barrel, the 50 Round Drum, the Jack Glassless Optic, and the Lockman MK2 Light Stock. Now, I'm running the XRK because this DR6 Hand Stop did receive a nerf. The XRK has around the same ADS and print to fire speed and gives you more movement speed than the DR6 Hand Stop. So that's kind of why I've switched to that. Gives the same benefits as uh, the DR6, but just has a little bit more mobility, in my opinion. And then for the Striker 9, Again, very, very solid TTK and pretty easy to control recoil. Next, we have the MTZ-556 and the HRM-9. The HRM-9 and the Renetti pistol are the top two SMGs to be running for run and gun, close range meta right now, period. HRM-9 got a slight nerf, but it was only to the sprinter fire speed. So nothing to worry about as far as damage goes. Still does just as much damage as before. Still very good. And then the MTZ-556 is the best AR right now. Does beat out the Ram 7, does beat out the uh, Holger 556. So loving this right now as well. For this MTZ-556, we're going with the Cassis Brake Muzzle, the MTZ drifter heavy long barrel or if you want a little bit more effective damage range and minimum damage range you can go with the clinch pro barrel as well the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 50 round drum and that jack glassless optic Then for that HRM9, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, Thor 90 Barrel, XRK Edge Hand Stop Under Barrel, 50 Round Drum, and the Folding Stock. i show this to you guys here in the firing range. Loving the HRM9. A lot of fun to run. Our next set of loadouts is the brand new sniper, the Moore's Sniper from Advanced Warfare. And then with it, I have the WSP-9. WSP-9 as a sniper support weapon and an SMG are both so good. So the Moore's is one shot at what range it didn't give us an exact number. If you know and you've tested it, drop it down in the comments below. And then I've got the uh, WSP-9 as a long range option. Really feels like the Milano, a lot of fun to run as well. For that Moore's Sniper, we're going with the Downfall Light Barrel, Razor Hawk Laser Light Laser, the Super Light 9. 90 stock, the quick bolt, and the OP980 grip. And the ADS speed on this thing is just so awesome. Oh, yeah, it is one shot. Then for that Milano, we're going with the WSP Optac Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, the WSP Classics Factory Stock, and that Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 Time Scope, or the Jack Glassless Optic, completely up to you there. Show this to you guys here in the firing range, but man, I just, this build is so much fun to run. There's no way I can Whoa! Whoa! You get it? Oh my gosh. Then for our number one overall meta loadout that you need to be running 100% never fails is the SOA Subverter and the Renetti Pistol with the Conversion Kit on it. The Conversion Kit turns the Renetti into an SMG. It is practically unbeatable. I'll show you the TTK right now. The TTK for this Renetti Pistol Conversion Kit is below a 0.6, which is insane. It's the best all the way up to past 15 meters, which is all you need. It's unbeatable. If you're going head to head on somebody right now, you feel like you're losing those gunfights use this renetti pistol get it leveled up 100 it's absolutely nuts so for this soa subverter i went with the cassis break l here i had a real hard time controlling the horizontal recoil on this thing the cassis break l helped you're probably saying why not go with the jack bfb the jack bfb has an increased radar detection and on rebirth island that's going to be a problem especially during end game so the cassis break l gives me a lot more horizontal recoil control i'm not pinged on the radar as long as i would be for the jack bfb run the zim and 35 compensated if you want to as well you get even less of 
love a ping on the radar as well. It shortens the radar pings as you see there in the pros. Then we're going with the Dozer 90 long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the Jack glassless optic, and the 50 round drum. Guys down. There he is. Oh no. Found another one. And then for this Renetti, you got to run the conversion kit, which you unlock. So you'll unlock the challenges for it when you max out the weapon. And then once you max out the weapon, you'll have the challenges for it, which is 30 Renetti kills with all five attachment slots filled. Now, I bought a bundle that had this kit in it. I still haven't actually unlocked it, so you don't have to. Then we're going with the 50 round drum. I like the 9R model sight here. That's what I like to run on it. Completely up to you if you want to run a sign or not. The SL skeletal vertical grip and the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle with a little bit more recoil control, especially when it comes to vertical and it shortens the ping on the radar so very solid for the specific smg slash pistol yeah. oh my goodness this thing's insane thank you guys again for watching make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that noti bell if you like this video so you don't miss another video like this or like any of these we'll see you in the next one